Hi, today we're gonna model a pipe. Could be a water pipe, gas pipe, I don't know, I'll let you decide. In order to do that, we're gonna start with a torus. Hold shift, right click, release on torus. Hit R on your keyboard to scale it up, select in the center. Q to drop the tool. Now we have to remove half of it and then half again. Make sure you're in component mode. If it's blue like this, then you probably are, especially when you can hover over and select different things. If you right click and go to object mode, it'll be green. So make sure you're in component mode, face, kind of center it like that. Drag, left click, highlight half of it, hit the delete key, rotate it around 90 degrees, select the other half, drag, click like that. Hold shift, right mouse button over the polygons. Go down to detach components. Hit the W key, drag to the right. Left click in the middle somewhere to deselect. Now we're gonna bevel these two edges together and then extrude these edges out. Go into edge mode by right click, going up and releasing on edge. Double click one edge. If you don't want to see the gizmo, hit Q and then hold Control and Shift to add to that selection. So now you have both edges selected. Hold Shift, right click when you're over the edge. Go down to Bridge. That brings up the Bridge Options window. We're going to add some additional divisions in here. If you hover over this text, you'll see a little left and right arrow. That allows you to drag to the left or right to add or decrease the amount of divisions. Left click over the text and increase the number of divisions. Then hit the Q key on the keyboard to drop the tool. Now we're going to extrude these edges out. Double click one. Hold shift and control to add to the selection. Double click that edge. Now to extrude these, hold shift, right click, and release on extrude edge. We actually want to do both at the same time. If you leave it like this, it'll twist the edges as you pull them out. Like that. So we don't want to do that. Click this little icon here, left click it, and it centers between the two selections. Now if you drag, it'll drag them evenly and it won't rotate the edges. Now we're going to scale these in a little bit. You can either hit the G key to repeat the last action, which would be extrude edge, or you can shift right click over the edge, select extrude edge again, right click release. And now you're going to want to click the X axis, the scale, the little square, which is for scale. And you're going to want to drag that down, which will extrude the edge in. Q to drop the tool. Now we're going to add additional edges in here. There are a number of ways to do it. The most common one is you'll use the multi-cut tool. When you're over an edge, you can hold shift, right click, release over multi-cut. If you hold the control key, it'll give you a cut ring. And if you hold the shift key, it'll snap it to 10 increments. Now you can change that increments, but usually 10% is the default. Line it up, kind of make it in the center, left click, and do it two more times. There you go. You can also use the insert edge tool. Q to drop the multi-cut. Shift right click. Go to insert edge loop tool. If you don't already have it set, it's usually defaulted to one. Release over the options box. That'll bring up the tool settings window. 
This is usually one. If you hit reset tool, you can see it's just relative distance from edge. So select multiple edge loops, two, I'm gonna set it to three, but you can set it to whatever you want. And then now, close that window. When you click on an edge, it'll just automatically create three for you. Hit Q to drop the insert edge tool. And then deselect away. This is the basis of our pipe. We're gonna add two more things. We're gonna add some definition, and then we're gonna add some support edges, both of which are fairly easy to do. Now we wanna grab a selection of polygons that we're gonna extrude out for some additional definition. You're currently in edge mode. Right click, go into face mode, and then now left click drag, and it'll select a group of polygons. You can do that to both sides. To add to the selection, hold shift control, which gets a little plus symbol. Do the same left click drag. We're gonna add two more slightly differently. If you hold shift control, that'll add additional polygons like this. If you release shift, you can deselect but you can actually do the whole edge loop by holding shift control, selecting one, and then double clicking the polygon right next to it. Keep holding shift control, click one, and then double click the one right next to it. Now that we have our polygon selected, hold shift, right click, release over extrude face, and then change the thickness. If you hold the control key in the shift control key, it'll do it in increments. If you hover over thickness and just left click and drag, it'll do it in tenths. Control Z. If you hold control, it'll do it in hundredths. Control Z. And if you hold shift control, it'll do it in thousandths. Control Z. So we're gonna hold control to give us a little finer definition. Left click, drag it until it looks good. Looks to be about 0.3. Well, let's go to 0.5. Release, hit Q to drop the tool, and then left click anywhere to release the polygons to deselect. Final step is when you hit the three key on your keyboard, it puts it into subdivision mode, which will make it look okay, I guess, but we wanna add some support loops. Go back by hitting one. The two most common ways to do it are to either use the multi-cut tool or better the bevel tool with chamfer off. So the multi-cut tool, if you're in edge mode, right click, and then select edge, and then shift, right click, select multi-cut. If you hold control, you can place edge cuts anywhere. Alt, right click to zoom in, so that makes it a little easier. Left click to rotate around. So if you hold control, you can put an edge loop there, an edge loop there. We'll do a couple more. But as you can see, this is pretty time consuming. And two more edges. Now, zoom out a little bit, you hit three, Looks good. To do it a little faster, hit Q to drop the tool. Go into edge mode, if you weren't already. If you just double click the edges, hold Control Shift, add to the selection. You can just keep adding to the edges 
as a group. And now, if you use the bevel tool, shift, right click, bevel edge, and then left click over chamfer, drag to the left, As you can see, that's exactly what we were doing with the multi-cut tool, but now it's more uniform and we have more control. Hold control to change the fraction. Bring it in a little bit, 0.3. And then Q to drop the tool. Alt right click to zoom out. And now when we hit three, it looks a lot better go out of component mode and go back into object mode. Just right click and go object and then deselect. And there's our pipe. So you learned a couple of cool things. You learned how to extrude multiple edges at once using the gizmo transform. You also learned to use the multi-cut tool and the insert edge loop tool as well as the bevel tool which is very commonly used in hard surface modeling because it allows you to fence in a lot of edges at once and you can change the fraction all at once as well. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and you can use this pipe that you just created for the other tutorials like UV checker and UV unwrapping. Thank you for watching the video.